Howdy everyone, Tom and Zort here, Rogue Disney, back at Mardi Gras Universal. It's Sunday, I was here Saturday, went for a live stream. Today I kind of just want to... Try some more food and check out more of the entertainment that's offered, all based on your ticket price. No upcharges here. Gotta love when your parades are built in. Parade is gonna start at 6.15, I believe today. And all of these performers are all part of the parade. And they're already hanging out beads to start the day. What a wonderful... Hey, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Happy Mardi Gras. Happy Mardi Gras. We definitely have some more um, a, a adult entertainment. Not adult, but we would never see any Disney princesses this way. Let's just say. Now I did bring my cup back with me, and I'm hoping I can get some refills today too. So. We'll see what happens. I do want to also check out the tribute store. I don't know what I'm going to do first, but actually, you know what? Since I didn't see the tribute store yet, let's take you over there. So when I come back, we'll be over in the tribute store. And here we are in the ever-changing tribute store. Now Mardi Gras, what's Christmas and Halloween? Now, really, what you're in here for is the treats. I'm gonna ask about one thing. Is that like dog plushie back? The that was the dog plushie that was being sold in here. The dog plushie. The do dog. There was like a, a blackish gray dog plushie, like a bulldog looking thing. No, we don't have. We don't have that okay. Back here. I saw someone with it the other day. I don't know. There's more crowns. I don't think I'm much of a crown person. It's a single use item. And we got some fancy beads over there. Oh. I do like the fact that they go you take you through the float making procedure. Let me get like a shawl different. You got some masks around to hide your face. These things are not cheap. They go up to about 60 bucks and um, they're, they are intricate, but it's also a single use item. Oh. I don't know what the bear has to do with Mardi Gras. You got some beads up here. And a uh, little throne action that you can um, chill in. I think I'll take one of these chairs to go for home. What do you think? I don't know. We got some different shirts in here. Some like more voodoo going on. But I do like this concept of seeing the make out for the floats come. It's pretty cool. All right, so what's next? We got some photos from the parades of past. Oh, they had a King Kong float back in the day. Oh. This is cool seeing all this history. We are slowly working our way through the float design, which is uh, 
like I said, a very inventive way to show off what they're doing. Again, the merch is kind of repeating, but that's okay. Oh, I dropped the jester hat. Go back up there. If I can. There we go. See some wardrobing and costuming. This is kind of like a backlot tour for the um, parade. It's kind of cool. I like these king and queen shirts. That's nice. I don't know if the shorts are available for purchase or if it's just theming. I think it's just theming. I'm not sure. But we got more masks. There's gotta be some, oh, hello. We have made it to the suites and a space skater, I guess that's the best way. Look at him. He's, he's a cryogenic gator. But I have to find something else, to, something to get me as a sweet treat right now. I'm a little hungry. I am not sure. I don't know. There is chocolate covered bacon though, but I have that a lot. Mardi Gras chocolate shop. That's different. I think I might save it for the king cake of the beignet. I'm sorry to say that. I think I will. But yeah, I'm saving my sweets to the king for the king cake and beignets. Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> Where is that from? It's from uh, Star Wars. From where? From Star Wars. Oh, yeah. Yeah, from uh, Return of the Jedi. Ah, okay. I gotta look, I gotta look for it then. <laughs> <laughs> He's in Jabba's palace. He's a little pet monkey. Okay, okay, yeah. I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be Star Wars fan. <laughs> so, I'll, I'll check it out. All right, thank you. Have a good day. Bye. And we are heading out through the music room, I guess. I don't get the feet don't fail me now motif, but we each their own, I guess. So. All right, I did have to upgrade from yesterday, um, so. Fully decked out, beads and all. Zort's got his beads on him. We're gonna go and get that crab cake beignet, king cake, and maybe they have this like foot long Nathan's hot dog with potato around it, similar to what they had during Halloween Horror Nights. I think I'm gonna go grab some of that too. But I can't do that with you there. So let's get moving. Here for our first treat, we're going here for, I believe, that huge high top dog. I'm, I'm definitely going for the Cajun Twisted Frank with queso that looks delicious. Um, Beverage is a new twist on. Oh. Ooh, bourbon, orange liqueur, Mexican chocolate bitters. That sounds interesting. Hopefully, my couple work for a refill. I don't know. But we'll see. Well, howdy, everyone. I'm back here again for Mardi Gras, second day. Um, I'm going to take a break after this for the next weekend. But I did have to try this Cajun Tater Dog, which honestly, if you've been here for Halloween Horror Nights, is very similar. So it's some rehashes with different seasons. Oh, I got I got a street band coming behind me right now, so let's let the good times roll for a little bit. Don't want to interlude on their music. Um, I will say it's a good portioning. They do throw some queso on this bad boy. And uh, it's a deep fried potato wrapped around. And I hope you hear me with the lav mic. Otherwise, you're just gonna hear music and I'll have to redo this. But I also got the uh, taters, which like an old fashioned with some uh, Mexican chocolate bitters. It's an interesting drink. I'll give it that. A little bit more fruity than I thought it would be. Now they offer three seasonings for this. 
garlic parmesan, Cajun, and ghost pepper. I went Cajun. Now, realistically, this is kind of like a corn dog in all essence with uh, potato chips on the outside instead of having a battered queso. The queso, queso's got a good hint uh, kick to it. Um, not a bad thing, but it is $15. But it's also one of the bigger food items you can get here. Well, this is tasty and delicious. Zort, do you agree? Zort's down with it. I'm gonna finish eating. For another failed attempt at getting King Kings, I went to the same place last night that was supposed to be right behind me where the uh, crawfish and shrimp combo boil was. No more King Cakes. I was told by the team member there that I can go to the Today Show Cafe to get one if I wish, but I don't know, that just doesn't have the same feel to it, you know what I mean? I will still try to get that crab cake beignet possibly today. Who knows though? Wish me luck. Please. How do you have one Thomas Zort Road to eat? Great day, day two. Here with my buddies from Park Hopping, Jay and Lee. They're live right now. And this is over by New York. And I'm going to pull Inception. And we got the parade coming. Hopefully, we'll get some beads this time. A sad day, my gimbal died, um, so it's being held by hand. I'm not, I'm not kidding. It went nuts and haywire. I didn't do it. It's, it's just old, like me. It happens. happens. I got a category five punch, which uh, Lee and Jay all. 
Lee and Jay also got, um, theirs had ice probably, mine, they just filled up in a rush so they could get home for work. It's tasty, it's got some dark rum. I also got the like smallest beignets ever. I'm just saying these are $5.99 for seven bucks at uh, Port Orleans. You can get like three huge ones covered in caramel sauce. So I'd pass on the beignets. <laughs> these are a sugar-free diet. They're not bad, but I've definitely had better for the same price. It's like powdered sugar on toast. Yeah, they're also cold. <laughs> they're better when they're hot, but I have a video, I'll link it up in here to Port Orleans where I went there the two times for the beignets because it's the best breakfast deal on property at $6.99. And the Joffrey's cappuccinos you can get there, amazing. They have some specialty flavors. Some positive news before I end the night. My gimbal is not dead. It's just on its last legs. Just thought I'd share that uplifting news. What can I say? Another parade and another fun and confetti falling all over me. So I'm gonna end things off here with that gator tail behind me. Don't be afraid to be the fool. Have fun and have a good night.